What's up everybody? You saw the title. You know what's going on today. We are shooting it out between these two teardrop trailers behind me. We have the New Camp Tab 320 over here and the Little Guy Mini Max. Both have the Boondock package. They're both really awesome, high-end, high-quality teardrop trailers. But there's some differences between them that we're going to look at and figure out which one's better. So let's go take a look. Welcome back to another video y'all and I think this is probably the most excited I've been for making a video because it's been over a year since I've had a Little Guy Mini Max and a New Camp Tab 320 side by side on the lot. I haven't even had them together at the same time since I started making YouTube videos. So very excited to have these here together. We're going to take a look at both of them side by side and figure out which one is better and more fit for what you may be trying to do. So before we get started. Hit the like and subscribe button down below. We got a bunch of 22, yeah, 2022 models coming out here soon. And in fact, these Mini Maxes are the first 2022 trailers that we got in. So these are actually listed down as a 2022 model. Um, these are still 2021s for the new camps. But we're going to have a bunch of 2022 models coming out soon. So hit the subscribe button to stay up to date. When all those hit the ground, I'll be doing tons of videos on those. And then check out my TikTok and Instagram pages here. There's where you can check out more short form videos that are only like 30 seconds to a minute long that go through trailers that I can upload a lot more frequently. And then finally, if you come into Holiday World, if you saw our videos or saw my videos and I was what inspired you to come to Holiday World or give us a call, just let them know when you talk to them that you saw my videos. That just gives me a little bit of financial compensation for the work that I do to put these videos out. And if you care about that and want to see me get some sort of reward for the videos that I do and help you all out with, let them know that you saw my videos before you come into the store or when you come in or when you call us. Also, my contact information will be at the end of the video so you can always call me and ask for me on that line and I'll get you taken care of. So with all that said, let's take a look at these trailers and see which one is better. Right away, one of the very first differences you're gonna see is the difference in size. So the Mini Max is a little bit bigger than the 320, even though they both have very similar floor plans and layouts for a teardrop trailer. The Mini Max is quite a bit bigger. I will put the specs up here side by side so you can see exactly what they are. But the Mini Max is going to be longer and taller than the Tab 320. So benefits are obviously the Mini Max is going to give you more space, a little bit more storage inside as well, bigger refrigerator. You have a much bigger AC unit on the Mini Max than you do in the Tab 320. But that also means you have a higher weight. You have a little bit more of a mass to store. So if you're thinking about, you know, where are you gonna store your trailer if you're trying to put it in your garage, this is going to be a bigger trailer that you're gonna have to think about storage for. Whereas that's where the new camp is going to kind of excel is it is a much smaller profile lower weight and it's going to be a much smaller shell not as tall so it's easier to store and find places to store this trailer so start with that and then we'll go and start looking at some of the differences between the two right away when you look on the front you'll notice that they're both going to have dual pane windows so you'll have dual pane windows on here dual pane windows on these windows as well That'll be all the windows all the way around on both units. On the tabs, these did not come standard with tinted windows, whereas the Mini Max did. So you have tinted windows on that one, standard dual pane windows on this one. Both of them have a solar panel. The um, tab here, you can see it's kind of a rounded solar panel. And you know, I did not look up or have not found out the exact wattage on this solar panel. So let me see if I can find that and get it up on the screen here for you. And that's so that's difference number one that I'm going to show you here. And then also I want to show you this front end here where you have this is all aluminum, like the aluminum structure that you can store things on. So you have that 
and this area here where you can strap things into whereas that's something that you're not going to have on the mini max so the mini max and the um, new camp products will both have the metal diamond plating up here to protect the front end of your trailer as well as your propane tanks and your batteries but if we come around to the back i also want to show you the solar panel on the mini max because it's going to be different than the solar panel on the new camp so you see up there it's a little bit different style of solar panel and i don't know if the watts are different or the same i'm gonna try to put them up on the screen here side by side so we can take a look at that and see the difference because i do not know off the top of my head i apologize that i don't know some of this information off the top of my head these are really rare exclusive trailers it's been about it it's been over a year since we've had any new camp trailers on my lot and it's been about six to eight months since we've had a little guy mini max on the lot so we don't get them as often as some of these other trailers that i have so it's harder for me to remember all the different specs that come on them but that's what the internet's for internet is a great place that we can learn a lot of stuff from both are going to have off-road tires that are going to have a solid metal wheel on there i believe they're both going to be steel wheels um, they feel like it so i think that's what they are but they're both very solid then another distinction where we're going to have quite a bit of difference is going to be in how these will perform off-road not because of the tires and the wheels because those are going to be pretty much the exact same um if you look at underneath here on the new camp tab 320 this back end slants up now if you think about it if you're off road and you're going down into some sort of ditch area and then you're going to come up that tail end of that trailer is going to dip down and that is going to give you so much more clearance than what the mini max has for terrain like that you also have the protection guards here that one can be used as protection you could also use those to strap things in on the back here if you just have like little small things that you want to put back there but definitely great for protection on protecting the shell of your trailer and you have the bike rack that's already installed on all of these so as we look at that tail end let's go look at the tail end of the mini max where you can see how different that is on this trailer so you see here it is just flat all the way across now you do have an accessory hitch back here which is pretty cool so you could strap bike racks or something like that on the accessory rack or on the accessory hitch sorry um, but you are going to have a flat trailer all the way to the back both of them have propane quick connect lines so you won't have to worry about missing that on the other one that one has it as well but the advantage to the mini max is you get a storage compartment and i'm going to be really bummed if both of these are locked dang it they are and i didn't bring my keys out here i'll go see if i can get my keys in just a second to open this up but these are going to be storage compartments that are really big that you aren't going to have on the tab 320. so there's an advantage to having this flat line all the way across the back and in the amount of storage that you get whereas on the tab 320 you don't have that storage but you also have a better off-road capability so let me go see if i can find my keys real quick so we can open up that storage compartment door and see what's in there okay we got the storage compartment door open so you can see the space that you have underneath here it doesn't pass all the way through but it is a pretty large space that you do not get on the tab 320 so that's going to be another difference while we're here let's take a look underneath as well see what we're looking at underneath so this is going to be what everything looks like underneath the mini max you have the spare tire underneath there as well as your water tank and then go to the tab here let's take a look underneath here so you'll see it's actually all enclosed pretty much for the most part on this tab 320 so that'll be another diff difference that you have between those two they'll both have electric brakes so you'll have electric brakes on this one and on the mini max as well and I'm trying to think if there's any other differences on the outside that are really worth talking about and that we need to mention oh yeah okay this is going to be another big difference the tab 320 let me get this opened up is going to come with a cassette style black tank so this is a five gallon black tank that is actually pretty much like a piece of luggage that you would just roll in and you can take it in wherever you want to dump it you know well not wherever you want but you could literally just walk with this into like a gas station restroom and just dump it right into the toilet in there if you want i suppose i mean i don't see why not 
but this will be a five gallon black tank that will make dumping actually a whole lot more easy and convenient for you hopefully so that is something that is a change to the 2021s on these tab 320s so again that's a five gallon tank it'll store right in there and that is how you will dump your black tank and then on the uh, mini on the mini max sorry that will have a I believe it's a nine gallon black tank on here and that'll be more standard where it will dump out of let's find it out of this compartment right here so your poop chute will be right here where it'll all dump out of and your fresh water will also drain out of there as well so that'll be another difference between the two that you have now there should be a fresh water drain somewhere on the tab 320 as well let's take a look underneath here i think we saw it so i think it's let's look yeah right there fresh water tank drain is going to be right there so your water systems are going to be a little bit different and you obviously have different tank sizes between the two because of different sizes of the unit so you will have those different tank sizes and the mini max is going to have just a little bit bigger tank sizes than the tap 320. i think that pretty much completes everything on the outside so another interesting aspect about the tab 320 that you don't have on the mini max are these grab handles and what you do is you take this wheel here put it down underneath here mounted into that spot and you can actually push this around with your hands and get it in the position that you need it to be so you don't actually have to back it up all the time to get it exactly into the position that you want it whereas on the mini max you are not going to have those grab handles so you can't i mean it may still it only weighs about 300 pounds more so it may be possible if you put a wheel on there that you could still push it around but the tab 300 or the threat no sorry tab 320 already has those in place for you so if i can think of everything on the outside i think i've pretty much hit it all i don't think there's anything else that i'm missing hopefully i'm not missing anything else if i am just let me know down below in the comments and we'll go take a look at it but let's go take a look at the inside and see how the insides compare looking at the insides we'll start with the inside of the tab 320 so going inside you're going to have almost like a airline bathroom looking door is a very nice high quality looking door though and has a really nice latch here for the door locking in place both of them are going to have the asdale sidewalls so this is going to give you a completely water resistant sidewall that is not made of any wooden components that is more lightweight than wood so lots of benefits to that also being a customer of holiday world you automatically become a part of the priority rv network dealership network so that's going to be these dealerships here across the country that you become a part of where they will all get you front of the line service if you're in the middle of a trip traveling or anything and you have sort of any sort of issue that is preventing you from being able to use your camper the way that you're supposed to be able to use it then they're going to get you in the front of the line at their service departments and get you taken care of right away so huge benefit to being a holiday world customer and part of why we have a 4.9 star rating on google with over 1100 reviews so let's go inside you can see here both of these teardrop trailers are going to have pretty similar floor plans and layouts where they have these dinette tables and then your kitchen on the front end now this here you can see this is like a backrest that will also come up to a backrest and then this can go down flat to make a bed as well one of the key differences between the two is how you make your bed so i really like how this one all you have to do is pull this area out pull this area out and then you just bring these cushions down and that will make your bed it's that simple so that is probably the easiest mechanism i've seen for making this into a bed in any teardrop trailer so really really like that really think that's a huge improvement i'll show you when we go in the mini max how you make that one into a bed and it is a bit more difficult now this one is going to be a bit smaller than the mini max so your height on this is only about 69 inches because you have a lower ceiling height, they did not put an AC on the roof like they do on the Mini Max, and your AC is actually underneath these cushions here. So you have your AC system in there, it is gonna be ducted through your cabinetry and stuff like that underneath. So you have your vents like this here. So that is gonna help increase your ceiling height in here, and you don't have a AC protruding on your height that you have since you're already limited. Good TV placement. I like that they moved the microwave from the kitchen area down here where you have to bend over really far 
to up high here where it's much easier to access. You're gonna have your sound controls. And then another key difference between the two is your heating system. On this Tab 320, you have this Aldi system, which is basically gonna be a system of coils that run throughout the RV that your air and water will run through to heat them up. So theoretically, you could get constant hot water in this Tab 320, whereas the little guy Minimax is going to have a six gallon hot water um, tank. So it's a gas electric hot water heater or water heater. I've been told it's not a hot water heater, it's a water heater. So six gallon water heater in the mini max and then you'll have your aldi system here which is going to be a coil system which will theoretically like i said give you constant hot water you'll have latches on these doors here for your storage behind this space and then back here this is the table that will sit between your benches so it'll sit right here give you a tabletop and you'll have a little bit of storage back here as well Close those, you'll have a night lamp on each side with your speakers, dual pane windows all throughout like we said, and then you'll have a privacy shade that comes up from the bottom of each window and a bug screen that comes down from the top of each window. Little storage compartments up here as well, and that'll be on both sides. And let's see, what else? Then you have your kitchen set up. So you'll have your latches here that will keep those closed while in transit. And then these are gonna be soft closed cabinets. So they'll close on their own. And then when you want them to lock, you just push that in. Storage compartment under here. And another one down under here. Because the Tab 320 is smaller than the Minimax, it does have a smaller refrigerator, but it still gets the job done. So you have your space in there. Your two burner cooktop, countertop space, and your sink. Then you have small storage compartments up above. In your bathroom, I don't know why the lid is not on the toilet, but it's gonna be a wet bath. So this is the triple S combo that we talk about. Your sink is back here. So it's really cool actually, this uh, hose right here can stay up here to be your shower head, or it goes back into this compartment there for your sink. Now, someone my height being 6'2 is definitely going to be um, not standing in here, probably sitting on the toilet to take a shower because it's not very tall and you have a nice mirror there as well. Your interior height in the shower is probably about 65 inches or so. So just for a reference of kind of what we're looking at. And that's pretty much everything inside the Tab 320. You have a bug screen for the door. And that's about it. Let's go look in the Minimax and see how that one shapes up to this one. Now, as we go from the tabs to the Minimax, I realized I did not show the bed size in there yet. So I'm going to put both of them down in the bed size and or in the bed configuration and then get in the bed so you can actually see how they differ in that regard as well. Now, keep in mind, this is a little bit bigger of a teardrop trailer. So there are gonna be some aspects of this that are bigger than the tab 320 as we come in here. So right away, you can see different interior colors. Uh, you notice that there is a bigger refrigerator in the Minimax than there is in the Tab 320. You have a bigger dinette table. Now, benefit, bigger dinette table. The drawback is that it is a little bit more difficult to get up and down um, because you have to get into the space and it swivels up like this. So basically you unlatch it and it'll swivel up like that. So a little bit more difficult than the Minimax as far as getting your table, not the Minimax, sorry, a little bit more difficult than the Tab 320 as far as getting your table set up. Um, really nice looking cabinetry in here. And it's gonna be all solid hardwood in the Minimax. Nice leather seats. And then I think your area in here, just your seating space is a bit bigger than what it is in the Tab 320. You also get a stargazing window in the Minimax. So a really big window back here. Again, all of them will have day and night shades. Your TV here. And then you're gonna have your solar controller up there and your AC system. So on this one, you have a 13,500 BTU AC, which is gonna be the same that comes in pretty much every travel trailer, unless they have a larger 15K BTU AC and even in some fifth wheels. So this is gonna do a great job freezing you out. It is not ducted, so it's just gonna dump out of here. 
but that is a huge benefit to having this size as well is getting that bigger ac but it does add to the height of the trailer and the interior height in here if i flip this camera let's see if i can do that you can see me being 6'2", I can almost stand up in here. The ceiling height on this is probably about 6'1", so about 73 inches. But then with the AC, I do have to duck down because if I stand up, it's going to hit that there. And that is something that you have when you have a drop-down AC unit like this. You have a lower ceiling height because of it. Very similar kitchen layout. You can see here that they have the microwave down here like I was talking about instead of up high like they do in the TAP 320. So that's something I actually like a bit more about the TAP 320. Then you're gonna have storage compartments here. Really high quality feeling drawers and cabinets. Like I said, they're all solid hardwood. So definitely feel very high quality. Good amount of storage. You have just a little bit more countertop space in the Mini Max than you do in the TAP 320. And then you're going to have same two burner cooktop from Dometic. And I believe it's a one foot by one foot sink there as well. So you'll have that with the sink cover. We'll go into the bathroom. Again, you'll have the triple S combo, but it does have more of a traditional looking shower head. And then your toilet there, which this one does not have a sink in it like the Tab 320 did. So another benefit to the Tab 320 is you had a sink in the bathroom space. Much bigger refrigerator in the little guy Mini Max and your freezer that pulls open there. Make sure that plastic stays in there. There we go. Oh, still gonna pop out. That's all right. Okay, so that's kind of everything just going over the base stuff here. Then you're gonna have your speakers and make sure i've seen everything else okay you have your charging centers right here next to the bed and another outlet over here as well plus you have your sound controls right there and a little tabletop right here storage underneath this area as well just a little shallow storage compartment and then underneath this bench is your pass-through storage now Setting up your bed, if you have this dinette table down, or sorry, if you have the dinette table up, you will have to put that table down and then this will actually slide all the way to the end here. And then this back here will pull out to fill in all this space here for you to lay your cushions in the middle and make into a bed. So I can do that now and then I'm gonna use the tripod to lay down in here and show you the difference in bed size. Now if you're putting your bed into the dinette table position frequently. Like if, if you uh, use that dinette table on a daily basis and then you're making your bed every day, I would say that this configuration is a bit more difficult to get in and out of your bed formation to the dinette table position than it is in the tab 320. Just because of that mechanism I showed you in the tab 320 and how that works. But this does give you a bigger bed. So I'm gonna lay in both of these and show you the difference. At first in the Minimax, you can see lengthwise, I'm, again, I'm 6'2 for reference. When I get my head all the way back here, my feet are gonna hang off. So that's the situation there. Then if I go diagonal, plenty of space this way. No problem whatsoever laying diagonally. Then if I go long ways here, I can even actually stretch all the way out from side to side on this bed. Now that is something that is definitely going to beat out the mini mac or i keep getting them confused it's going to beat out the tab so i'll go lay down in the tab bed and show you the difference in size there for what that bed has to offer all right let's hop in bed here so diagonally no problem plenty of space if you lay diagonally if it's just you or you have a short partner that lays on the side here should be no problem i could do this no problem side to side with my head pushed all the way against the wall, this is how much bend is in my knees. So that's what side to side is going to look like. So you, that shows you the width difference that you have in the Mini Max versus this Tab 320. That's going to make quite a bit of difference in your sleeping arrangement. And then long ways, if I go all the way to the end here, my feet just barely hang off, which I could definitely live with, but I'm not a picky sleeper. So that's going to be your difference in the bed sizes between these two RVs. So we'll do one last little walk around and if there's anything I missed, I'll try to touch on it here. But it does look like you have slightly bigger wheels and tires on the Mini Max than you do on the Tab 320. 
Um, they're both gonna have sewer hose storage compartments, so you can see on the Tab 320 or on the Mini Max, I'm I'm never gonna get these right the first time saying it. It's so weird. But you'll have your sewer hose storage compartment here, and then on the um, Tab 320, they're somewhere along the back. But I know that they have them on this one as well, somewhere here. Yep, right underneath there. So you'll have it there. Also, showing your water hookups. I like that the Tab 320 has them in a compartment here that's kind of sealed off and closed. And if you go to the Mini Max, it's gonna be a little bit of a different setup. It is enclosed underneath here. I think it's locked, but it's just gonna be two hose connections in here. It's not gonna have like the legend like that one does. And that one just looks a little bit cleaner. This is literally just a fresh water and a city water connection in here, which is all you need. But I just like the look of the Tab 320 and that aspect of it a little bit better. Um, you have the accessory hitch on here, which is not on the Tab 320. And we'll just go back here and check that real quick to confirm. Yep, no towing hitch on this one or no accessory hitch. Now, something that both the trailers are going to have that I haven't touched on yet is their accessory rails. So you have your accessory rail system here on the tab 320 that wraps all the way around. And then you have the same thing on the Mini Max with this accessory rack here that goes all the way around. And both of those can be used to put like outdoor awnings or patio type setups with shade covering attached to your RV that will extend out off of the RV and give you a patio setup space out here. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that y'all might be thinking, typing in the comments down below, oh, you didn't talk about this or um, what about this aspect? I'm trying to make sure I hit all of it. Just can't think of anything else that there might be that I might've missed. I really wanna just give you a chance to see the size difference now again right now as of uploading this video on what's the date today saturday july 24th we have all of these trailers here available to buy and available to look at so this is holiday world of dallas if you want to come check them out side by side while they're still here it literally might be the only period you have in the next 12 months to do this because it's so hard for us to get these rvs in and keep them like i said it's been i don't think in the two years i've been here we've ever had all of these on the lot together at the same time so pretty unique opportunity to see them both side by side and see the differences but if you're in the texas or dallas area and want to come check them out come talk to us here at holiday world and let them know that you saw my video all right so after looking through both of these pretty extensively what do you think which one do you think is better let me know down below in the comments i want to know what you think of course i'm going to give you my opinion on what i think is better but I think it's obviously subjective. There's gonna be ways that the Mini Max is better for some people and ways that the Tab 320 is better for some people. And really, one is not better than the other. They are just two different trailers offering two different things for people. So in my opinion, if I were choosing between one of these two, as much as I like the size that you get in the Mini Max and everything that it has to offer as far as the quality, plus, we haven't even talked about price yet. You can see the MSRPs on these units here. This one is going to have a little bit higher price than the Mini Max, even though it is a little bit smaller. And I think if I were picking between these two, I would still take the Tab 320. I don't know what it is. I think I just like the rugged look of it in the benefits of the off-road package that it has to offer. I think with either one of these, RVs with what I would be planning to use it for if I were in the market for these. I like what this one has to offer a little bit more. Now, if size were more important to me, I would probably like the Mini Max more. But personally, if I were buying a trailer like this, I don't intend to be on it that or be in it that often. So the size of this one doesn't bother me too much. And I just like the look of it. I like what it does and the size of it and everything like that as far as storability for it. I like it a little bit better. And I think that's the option I would go with. But they're both great trailers. They are both high-end premium teardrop trailers. And I think either one would make a great RV for you for traveling out by yourself, with your family, with your pet, whatever it may be. 
They're both gonna offer a great experience for what you wanna do with your camping adventures. So that's everything I got. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hit the like button and the subscribe button down below to stay up to date with future videos coming out. Whatever I missed, let me know down below in the comments if there's something you feel like should have been talked about that we didn't talk about. Let's talk down below in the comments and let me know which one you like better. So that's all I got for y'all. Until next time, I'll see you out camping.